All right, uh, 6.30, no, 6.38. Also in Bucks County, extra police officials are expected, officers, over at the William Tennant High School in Warminster after they got a call about a possible threat. Let's get out to Shana. Well, good morning to you both, and we're still about uh, 30 minutes or so away from when the school uh, building is supposed to open. We've seen a number of school buses uh, begin to pull in. The school day doesn't start officially till 7.30. Uh, and surprisingly enough, with the expectation of police presence, we haven't seen any uh, obvious police presence here. But as many of you guys know, especially with uh, law enforcement uh, in their ways of getting, kind of getting around and doing their, these kinds of operations, a lot of times uh, they could be uh, in plain sight and other times not. So. Uh, stand by for that. But as we know, this uh, whole situation when it comes to the expectation of increased police presence came from a suspicious phone call into the Centennial School District yesterday evening. Now, Warminster police were contacted by the school district about a phone call received on a blocked phone number about a potential threat to William Tennant High School. The stu a student actually reported the threat. Now, the incident was only directed uh, to William Tennant High School. It's still unclear what exactly the threat was and that's what's being investigated at this time. They haven't released really what the nature of that phone call was, but out of an abundance of caution, we're expecting to see uh, Warminster police along with Upper Southampton police, not just at William Tennant uh, High School, but all of the schools within the Centennial School District District are expected to have increased presence because even uh, the slightest threat is a call for uh, that kind of action to make sure that nothing unfolds. So the important thing is at this point, the school day is going to go on as usual. We're just expected to see a little bit more help to make sure that students, staff, and parents, of course, feel comfortable leaving their kids, bringing their kids, sending their kids to school today. Uh, so that has not shifted. But the only thing that we're asking at this point, if anybody has any information, it's going to be really critical as part of this investigation to find out who made that call uh, to get them off the street. Of course, hold them accountable. So if you know anything, give police a call.